wave properties. So there are a variety of properties of uh, periodic waves or cyclic waves. And in the previous tutorial, we uh, met one of these properties, which was the amplitude uh, for sound waves that corresponds to the, to the loudness. Uh, but there are other um, important properties that we'll look at in this tutorial, uh, namely wavelength, frequency, and wave speed. Now these uh, three properties are not independent and we'll see the relationship uh, among them. Well, let's uh, define them first. So the wavelength is basically just the length of a wave. So uh, the way uh, we measure it is to measure the distance between the peaks of the waves or the troughs of the waves, the wave crests or the wave troughs. And um, you see examples here for longitudinal and transverse waves. The frequency is the number of oscillations per second for the wave's uh, material motion. So if we were creating waves on a slinky, then uh, how rapidly we um, were shaking the end back and forth uh, would determine the uh, frequency. Uh, for uh, sound waves, we uh, detect that frequency uh, with our hearing in the sense that uh, different uh, frequency sound waves are heard as different uh, notes. And uh, you'll see on uh, tuning forks, they actually print the frequency right on the note, uh, on the uh, tuning fork. So uh, this uh, large uh, tuning fork has a lower frequency which is 256 hertz uh, and the higher frequency is obtained with the uh, shorter um, tuning fork which uh, being small vibrates uh, faster at 512 uh, hertz. One important um, aspect of waves is that when we have uh, waves reflecting and interacting uh, with the uh, reflection, then uh, we tend to get a standing wave. And we get this if we uh, take, say, a string and shake one end and hold the other end fixed, then we get this um, repeating uh, standing wave pattern. So let's uh, see that with uh, some uh, slinky waves. So uh, I'm uh, shaking one end and you see the pattern that develops now. I'm uh, shaking uh, faster and then uh, shaking uh, slower here in a moment, but hopefully you see that repeating um, pattern when the uh, wave is synchronized with its um, reflection. Here's uh, another example with uh, longitudinal instead of uh, transverse waves. So these, uh, again, I'm shaking one side, I'm shaking on, on the left, and the waves are reflecting on the right. And uh, hopefully uh, it's easier to see on the left-hand side of the screen, you see the pattern of uh, standing waves uh, that develops. Now the uh, third proper property, besides wavelength and frequency, is wave speed. And wave speed is simply the speed at which uh, waves travel. So uh, sound waves uh, travel fairly quickly, uh, about a fifth of a mile per second, uh, but this is still a detectable speed. If you see a lightning flash, uh, you don't hear the thunder until a few seconds later because the sound uh, takes a certain amount of time to travel and reach you. Uh, the light also takes a certain amount of time, but that time is almost instantaneous because the speed of light is extremely fast. And there are uh, slower waves, such as uh, water waves, as you uh, watch them approach the shore. Uh, those are, of course, much slower, maybe a few miles an hour. So as I said, the um, wave speed, wavelength, and frequency are related. 
And the mathematical relationship is that the wave speed equals the product of wavelength times frequency. Uh, but this equation is less important than um, the consequences of this equation, which are how do wave speed, wavelength, and frequency uh, vary if we uh, change one of uh, those three. So here are some examples in this table. If we uh, hold the wave speed fixed and we increase the frequency, then the wavelength of the resulting wave uh, goes down, so the waves get shorter. If we hold the wave speed fixed and we increase the wavelength, then the frequency uh, goes down. And um, some other examples here, but let's let's look at some uh, specific physical um, consequences of these relations. So uh, you may have noticed that in musical instruments, uh, the longer uh, strings or the longer pipes, say, in an organ, uh, produce the lower notes. Uh, that's because the uh, wave speed is fixed by the speed of sound, but if we increase the wavelength, which we do when we produce um, a wave using a long pipe, then the frequency goes down. So um, the lower frequency is the lower pitch uh, note. Uh, we can uh, listen to that in this feeble attempt of playing the pan pipes as I'm playing longer and longer pipes, you hear the pitch going down. Another uh, example of this, uh, I have a pipe here that has a piston on the end and I can pull the piston out to make the pipe longer and produce uh, longer uh, wavelengths. So you notice that when the uh, length of the pipe is longer, the frequency goes down. Uh, when I shorten the uh, pipe, the frequency uh, goes up. And uh, musical um, uh, notes have a mathematical uh, relationship uh, among each other. The simplest relationship is the octave. So uh, two notes are one octave apart when uh, one note is twice the frequency of the other. So in this example, if we have a string and we uh, pluck uh, the long string, we get the low note. If we um, uh, fret the string by putting our finger in the middle, uh, reducing the uh, wavelength in half, then that doubles the frequency when we double the frequency, we go up by one octave. And there are um, other examples. So here we have the uh, lowest uh, wavelength, which is um, called the fundamental. If that's at 110 hertz, uh, then um, cutting the wavelength in half doubles the frequency. That takes us up to the, to the same note in the next octave. Uh, but if we um, cut it into thirds, then that takes us to another note. And uh, again, there's all these different um, relationships among notes. This was actually first discovered by uh, Pythagoras. Now, another example uh, of the uh, relationship among um, wavelength, wave speed, and frequency is if we are tuning a guitar, and we adjust the tension on the guitar string, uh, increasing the tension increases the wave speed. Uh, now the length of the guitar string basically stays the same. So in that case, the um, wavelength or the length of the string stays fixed. We increase the tension, which increases um, the speed of waves on the string, and that increases the frequency of the note. Uh, here's uh, another example of the same effect of holding the wavelength fixed uh, but increasing the wave speed and uh, getting an increase in frequency. 
In this case, the wavelength is determined by my vocal cords, and I'm going to increase the wave speed by breathing helium. Okay, so this is my normal voice. And this is my voice after I'm breathing helium. You notice the difference. So the wave speed changes because the speed of sound in helium is higher than in ordinary air. Uh, let's just hear another example of that. Hello, I'm Dr. Paul. This is what my normal voice sounds like. And this is what my voice sounds like on helium. And one last example uh, from uh, water waves. As uh, water waves appro approach the shore, uh, the speed of the waves goes down because the um, depth of the water uh, becomes uh, shallow. Now, the frequency of the waves uh, is actually fixed, and what results is that the water waves actually get shorter. And in fact, if they get short enough, then they bend over and uh, break as they approach the shore. So, in uh, summary, uh, wavelength is the distance between the wave crests or between the troughs of, the, of waves. Um, basically, it's just the length of a, of a wave. Uh, frequency is the number of oscillations per second for the wave's uh, material motion. Wave speed is the speed at which uh, waves move. For a uh, fixed wave speed, the larger the wavelength, the lower the frequency. Uh, for example, the long uh, pipes of the organ produce the low notes. Uh, for fixed wavelength, the higher the wave speed, the higher the frequency. Uh, you saw that in the helium voice, the wavelength being fixed by the size of my vocal cords, the um, increasing the wave speed by uh, having helium, uh, which has a higher uh, sound speed, then that gave me that um, funny high-pitched um, uh, voice. And then the last example was for a fixed frequency, the lower the wave speed, the shorter the wavelength, and we see that as water waves are approaching the shore. So those are the uh, basic relationships. In the next few tutorials, we'll see some other phenomena uh, that involve waves, such as uh, wave spectra, uh, resonance, uh, so forth. So see you then.